it's been a long, long week. This is the ad for a boat that I want to make for my birthday. Here's pictures I found online of two different people's finished product. I assume mine will fall in between the two. I've done modeling for years, but always plastic, not wooden. And I have nothing with me, so I've had to buy all of this stuff. The model was only 350 pesos, $7. I spent considerably more than $7 on the cutting mat, the knife, the paints, the masking tape, all the other assorted crap. While waiting for it, I'm going to make some rope. I think the thread's going to be too small, and the twine is going to be too large. So I'm going to experiment with them. The twine, I am separating out single strands, and I'm making coils of rope. I'm using some toothpicks taped together as a little something round to wrap around. I will take a single strand of this. I will use the whole thing just for this example. So you can see it. Wrap it around. You hold it in place. Cover the entire thing with glue. You let it dry. You peel it off. You have a coil of rope. I don't know what size I'm going to need, so I'm doing some experiments. We will find out when the boat comes in. Turns out, so far, the thread looks much better than the twine. All of these are too large, and I will have to make it smaller when the boat actually comes in. I don't know when that's going to be. I am impatiently waiting for my model. Hey, it's something to do. I miss my model trains. Finally, the model comes in. It's uh, on this plywood. It's laser cut. It's really pretty cool. Here's all my tools set up and ready to go. I have instructions online because I know the instructions that come with it are atrocious. That's what everyone says. Here's the instructions. There's some pictures and it's mostly the deck details. There's nothing about the planking on the sides. There's nothing about the mast or the sails. It's very minimal instructions. No words of any kind in English or Chinese. It's got the cloth for the sails, but no template. So I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do and cut them. you got to be careful because you can only cut them out one time. It's got all these different dowels for the mast and no instructions on what goes where. Here's all the parts. You can kind of see how it's laser cut and there's just small tabs holding each piece in place. I will be cutting them out carefully and trying to figure out what goes where with no instructions. It should be fun. These are all the planks. You cut them out individually and use them to wrap the hull. First thing I did was build and paint the stand just because I wanted to. And the stand is helpful. I'm cutting out the ribs that go onto the main piece. Uh, they're numbered, which is convenient. You just have to be careful cutting them out. And they just snapped in together. Everything's held in place and then glued. As that dries, because that's got to be straight and flat. Oh, you can see on the deck there's designs marked for what goes where of all the deck details. So I am painting the pieces. I've identified pretty much everything. And some of them were already out and I had to paint them out. But it is easier to paint them in place on both sides and then cut them out. We'll see how this goes. So far I haven't broken anything. There's a special add-on kit you can buy that includes metal anchors and metal cannons. If you don't buy it, you have these little flat wooden things. They don't look as good, but as I said, the model was only $7. The add-on kit was $24. I'm going to wait and see. If it's worth it for the cannons, I may buy it. But I'm kind of thinking not. This is one of the toys I'm surprised I brought with me. I used it in my model railroading days. This is a piece that came in broken, and I needed the magnifying glass to repair it. That's a very handy toy. I'm working on the deck details. None of that is glued in place. We're just experimenting with it, seeing if what, you know, goes where. Everything's marked, but 
I'm trying just to play with it. And I'm a little nervous about starting the planking on the hull. So I've got all the deck details finished, pretty much painted. We're finally out of options and it's time to start doing the sides. Oh look, another distraction. It's finally my birthday. Yay, happy birthday, Tito Tim. And this is a very cool serving piece my wife bought me for my birthday. This model boat is what I bought myself for my birthday. So I'm putting in the railing and a couple side pieces and then we'll start on the planking. You have to cut them all out, sand them, and they have to wrap and twist without breaking and hopefully lay flat. So you do one at a time, clip it in place and glue the crap out of it. The second side is going much better than the first because as I said, I've never done a wooden model before. But you get it in place, get it done, do an initial sanding, cover it with wood filler, sand it again. This is wood filler, but not sanded on one side. This is the other side that I'm doing, and it seems to be wrapping and laying flat better because doing the first side, I actually learned a lot. It's a bummer. I'd like to do that first side over again. It's mostly done got an initial coat of paint we will touch it up later but I'm gluing on deck details and have started on the mast there's a crooked piece on one of the crossbars I will be sorry about that for the rest of my life but I can't cut it apart without breaking the mast and I don't have any spares this is only the initial paint I will be painting it all again when I'm finished but we're trying to get it going I'm having a lot of fun doing this it's only been like four days now and I've gotten much farther than I thought. This was supposed to take much longer, but I get like that. I start working on it and I stay up half the night because I'm having fun. This is my notation of rigging. It's not a good picture, but it works for me. I am not going for historical accuracy and it comes with no instructions. So I went online, found some pictures, kind of picked and choose what I like and I'm just going for what looks like enough. I don't care about historical accuracy. I don't care about functionality. I just want it to look good enough. I don't really know anything about rigging. I was in the Navy but we didn't have sails. I'm not that old. The fixed rigging is finished so I'm going to start on the rat lines, the little rope ladders that go up the side. I made a little cardboard template on the size and shape that I wanted. I tried wrapping the thread around it to make a ladder and it did not work. Glue stuck to it real bad, made a mess. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this is the one I made earlier and you can see how the glue is everywhere and it's just too much effort to cut that glue out. So I'm throwing this one away. Decided finally to do it up in the air and I'm doing each piece, gluing them in place. You can go through with clover hitches and tie the entire thing, but I'm not getting that involved. It's so small, a drop of super glue I think will be just fine. It's connected on the ends with enough left over to tie it in place. A lot of people tie it in place and then do the cross pieces and that looked really hard. So I'm trying this, getting fancy, trying to do two of them at one time, and it's actually working pretty well. And I was happy with the way the these turned out. I was kind of concerned about the rope ladders. Starboard side is finished and tightened up. The port side's kind of loose and floppy, but I'm going to tighten them up as I get over there. We're working on it, but I'm just seeing how it looks. Eventually, you should see some of those rope coils on there. I'm just using paper to drew the mock-up of the sails and then trace the paper onto the cloth because I only have one shot. Turned out easier than I thought. They're just glued on. I rolled up the bottom one so you can still see the deck details. The rest of them I kind of poofed them out and glued them to try and make it look like there's some wind. Um, the sails turned out easier than I thought and I think they look okay. They're not great. There's some little sags in them that are weird but like I said it's my first wooden ship. 
I'm okay with thinking I'm probably not going to buy the add-on kit because it's just not worth it for the cannons. This is my old Navy ship, and if you notice, there's no handrails. The handrails are part of an add-on kit. This is a $14 kit. The handrails were part of a $45 add-on kit. I would buy it if I could find it. It seems to be out of stock. I don't think they make it anymore. But that's my birthday. Fun was had by all. Enjoy your day in paradise. Bye.